They want me to say, let us not forget the two white boys also died helping Negroes help themselves. They want me to say, we mourn with the mothers of these two white boys. But the state of Mississippi won't even allow these white boys to be buried in the same cemetery as this Negro boy. I say I have no more love to give. I have only anger in my heart today, and I want you to be angry with me. But I am sick and I am tired, and I want you to be sick and tired with me. I, I, I am sick and tired of going to the funerals of black men who have been murdered by white men. I, I am sick and tired of the people of this country who continue to allow these things to happen. What is an unalienable right if you are a Negro? What does it mean equal treatment under the law? What, what does it mean liberty and justice for all? Now I say to these people, look at the face of this young man and you will see the face of a black man. But if you look at the bloodshed, it is red. It is like yours. It is just like yours. I'm going to tell you a story. Young kid named Homer Wilkes lives about 30 miles north of here. He'd just taken his girlfriend home and was walking back along the road. The car pulled up. Three white boys took him for a ride. Now, he hadn't done anything. Except be a Negro. And they took him to a shack. Shack like, like this one. And they took out a razor blade. Regular old razor blade like this one. And they pulled down his pants. They spread his legs. And they sliced off his scrotum. Put it in a coffee cup. Do you know how much you bleed when somebody cuts off your balls? When they found Homer, they said he looked like he'd been dipped in blood up to his waist. He was barely alive when they got him to the hospital. And he can hardly walk now. Mayor, 
We know you know who was there when those three civil rights boys was murdered. We know you know who pulled the trigger. Is there something you want to say to me? With the bureau? Yeah, he's kind of a specialist. You sure the mayor won't talk about any of this? No, they kill it. All right, what do you have? Well, there were three cars, seven men involved. Pell and Bailey, they did the killing. Sheriff Stuckey? Yeah, he knew about it, but he's too smart to be there. So Pell pulled the trigger for him. In Townley? It was his idea. Grand Dragons, they don't get their hands dirty. The whole thing, huh? Bullet by bullet. I don't suppose you're interested in words like coercion or hearsay or duress. This is no good in court. We're not in court, Mr. Ward. We'll never get him on murder anyway. That's a state charge. These hasties will never prosecute. I know that. Well, we've got to get him in federal court. Violation of civil rights. Just don't lose sight of whose rights you're violating. Don't put me on your perch, Mr. Ward. Don't drag me into your gutter, Mr. Anderson. These people crawled out of a sewer, Mr. Ward. Now maybe the gutter's where we should be. 